Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name is Troy and Francis and this is Troy and Francis Fine Art. And for today's episode, I'm working on the last wall hanging in my three wall hanging series. If you want to check out the other two, you can check out my video lists or you can look at the last two videos that I uploaded to my channel. So basically, I'm just moving through really quickly and there is a number of techniques that I want to highlight in this video. As it is right now, you can see me taping the back, cutting off the excess tape. And you know, one of the reasons why I do this is because when I'm resining the work, I don't want any resin to be attached to the back. If resin does spill to the back, you can use the tape and just peel off the resin and it keeps the back nice and black and fresh. So right away I chose purple as my color but there's a technique that I'm going to incorporate into creating the color scheme for this wall hanging. Right here I've used white paint and I've put it down on the purple but you realize that the white paint has turned into light purple. The reason for this is because the purple that I painted first was still wet while I applied the white paint. This kind of technique is called wet on wet painting. As the name suggests, you apply wet paint onto a wet surface and automatically it blends in with those brush strokes. So if you notice I'm going in a circular motion, that actually creates a blended color. At the moment I'm using a combination of tacky glue and my acrylic crystals to create a border all the way around the wall hanging. That adds further interest to the piece, makes it a little bit more interesting to look at. So if you notice, I use acrylic crystal lines, I use hand painted lines and now I'm using the lights which is just a line of light. So what I'm actually doing is using different type of lines to create an effect. So heat is my best friend when I'm working with this type of resin, which is art resin. I use my heat gun to heat up the liquid mixture in the container. That allows the mixture to flow more liquidy, you know, more watery. As opposed to if it was cold, it would be thick and hard to mix. The heat just gives it a nice flow and a more liquid flow. If you notice that the resin has a purple tint what I actually did was I add purple glitter to kind of give it a more sparkle a more prismatic look
want to thank you guys for joining in. I want to thank you guys for your support. Big ups to everybody in my Francis family group. And big ups to everyone of my subscribers. And big ups to everyone in our small art community. Thank you so much. And I want to tune in next time as I'm going to take these wall hangings to another level. Remember people, like, comment, subscribe.